Hey folks, this is a man once again, and uh, coming out with another video. It's uh, another packaging video, which is nice, but before I get to that, I just want to thank another person, um, John Ferrara. His uh, YouTube is uh, What Pisses Me Off. And uh, he sent me this, which has four movies, One Body Too Many, which is a 40s film with late Bela Lugosi. The She Beast, which is a 60s film with Barbara Steele. Uh, Teenage Zombies, which is a 50s movie. And then Tormented, which is a 1960 film. Um, not really my kind of films, but uh, still it's very nice that he sent this to me. And then on top of that, he sent me this, which is a double feature of Up is Smoke and Still Smoking, Chichin Chan. Um, I already have both of those, but still the, the gesture was nice. <coughs> so, thank you for that. And this is a package from um, a woman, actually, named Hope. <coughs> who has been very kind on YouTube uh, I know she's just starting to do stuff so you know I wish her the best of luck and she didn't have to send me anything but she did just because so the least I can do is an unpackaging I'm not sure what will be in it but whatever it is thank you so much it's always always really humbling when this happens <clears throat> no idea what these could be. I feel there's two of them. And. <sighs> oh, wow. Let's see, it's a. Uh... <clears throat> it has two Blu rays. Uh, the Blu-ray of Adventures in Babysitting, 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, I had talked about this. Wow. And as you can see, yeah, there's no special features. When I talked about the movie, there's no special features. <coughs> Which is sad. It says high dev widescreen. And that's all it has for features. And yet it's a 25th anniversary edition. But you know what? This is actually pretty cool because uh, I remember I mentioned I only had the disc, but I didn't have a case for it. So she must have heard that, and then she, you know, bought me a, the film on Blu-ray, which also has the case, which that poster I remember. I reviewed this film, Adventures in Babysitting. So uh, yeah, I already reviewed the film. Review still up on my channel. And again, like I mentioned on there, the bullshit thing, it's a 25th anniversary edition, but there's no features on it. Not even a trailer. It's pretty sad. I mean, 25th anniversary edition, and there's no fucking features. Which is pretty bullshit. But still, um... That's nothing against Hope. This is actually really cool because, again, I only had the film, I had the disc, I didn't have the case, but now I have the case. And, you know, it's on Blu ray, which is fine. And this is actually really cool. But, again, I always remember that cover from back in the day. <clears throat> it's very cool, actually. Now I have the film with the case on it. It's very cool. But, yeah, it just pissed me off this 25th anniversary edition bullshit that. Touchstone, or who the hell owns this now? Does it say who owns this now? It only says Touchstone Pictures. Whatever, they did a shitty job with this. I mean, no features whatsoever is bullshit. <coughs> and this is a film that I only had on DVD, but now on Blu ray I have it, and that's Cliffhanger. Is very cool. I think because 
I think because I mentioned somewhere, like, you know, there, there's films I would not mind getting on Blu-ray just because, like, Daylight was still on or this one was still on. I guess she must have heard that, and I guess that's why. Because I had this on DVD, but now I have it on Blu-ray. This is the same cover that's on the DVD, which to me is kind of a lame cover to put on the DVD or Blu-ray. I kind of like the, I wish the company had put the, like, the theatrical poster or one of the other ones, but... Let's see. I think this has all the features on the DVD. Yeah, the commentary with Rennie Harlan, Lil Bill Stallone, technical crew commentary, introduction on Rennie Harlan, deleted scenes, Stallone on the edge, the making of, special effects featurettes, and more. <coughs> but this will be nice to see on Blu ray. You know, Master in High Definition. It would be nice to see this film in high def. See how this lights, so that's really cool. It's nice. I love this film. <coughs> that's funny. <coughs> that's actually really funny because uh, the day I'm doing this, I'm actually looked at movie news, and lo and behold, there's the Cliffhanger remake is on again. It's weird. I just saw that news today. May 29th is when I'm recording this. <coughs> and Jeremy here is an idiot because he says Cliffhanger was not a particularly huge hit when released theatrically in May of 93. Yes, it was, you dipshit, dumbass. <coughs> Can I have your job so you're not just throwing bullshit out? <coughs> Cliffhanger was a big hit. It was a bigger hit than Last Action Hero. That was the thing, the last action hero wasn't a big hit, but this film was. Fucking idiot. Producer Neil Moritz, the guy who fucked himself, and Studio Canal are moving forward on a new version of the mountain climbing thriller that briefly got Stallone's career back on track after a series of missteps like Rocky V and Stop Him and Mom Will Shoot. Up and coming screenwriter Joe Dazzam will take first track at the script. I remember originally this was, uh. There was talks of. Fred Decker writing the script, but thankfully he's not one. But still, it's being remade again. I'm not really surprised. Up and coming streamer Joe Dazzin will take first crack at the script. Neil Moritz and Steel Tina can go fuck themselves. <coughs> Great, a remake of Cliffhanger. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, they're remaking Time Cop, they're fucking remaking 50 other fucking movies Bloodsport, Kitboxer. There was talk of Commando. I'm sure they'll get that back on track and bullshit. But anyway, if Hope's watching, really thank you so much. Adventures in Babysitting on Blu-ray. Again, I only had the DVD with no case in it, so at least this has a case, and um, it looks nice. It's just. I wish this company would have given this 25th anniversary edition an actual special features. And now I have Cliffhanger on Blu-ray. I only had this on DVD, so it's very cool to have this on Blu-ray. So if she's watching, uh, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but this was very kind of you to do so. And this stuff is very nice in my collection. I really appreciate it. This is very cool. These are two really cool gifts. I um, love Cliffhanger to death. Cliffhanger is a favorite movie of mine. And to have this on Blu-ray now instead of just DVD is very cool. Man. Again, I reviewed this film. This, I'll wait to maybe do like a Stallone month one day, or, or I mean one month or something like that, but love Cliffhanger Death, so thank you so much for that. Uh, it's always humbling. No one ever has to send me gifts, but it's always humbling when that happens. It's always, uh, always wonderful when that happens, so thank you so much. So thanks for watching, take care, and stay tuned for more reviews. I uh, did a few reviews that I backed up because I had a feeling I'm still a little bit congested and whether it be allergies or flu or whatever, but still thank you so much and thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.